Hello everybody and welcome back to another Middlesex Tree video. Today we are working in the beautiful town of Old Lyme on Rogers Lake. Not that you can see the lake just yet because it's super foggy out and it's going to be a damp day. Today we are taking down numerous trees on this stone house. Some are hazardous to the house and the shed and some the customer just straight up wants removed. Today we've got Bruce's son Bobby on the crane with us. Let's get right into it and start removing these two hickory trees on this side of the driveway. These trees are in a position that if we have a big enough storm roll through and the wind pushes the right way, both of them would fall down on the house. Chaw, Willie, and George are going to be on the ground doing their usual dingo action, cutting up the trees and getting them ready for the chipper and stacking the logs in the truck to be shipped out. These two trees took us less than 30 minutes to get on the ground, chipped up, and cut the trunks away. We've got a great start going to the day and we're going to need to keep this pace moving as much as we can so that we can beat the rain that's moving in by the end of the day and that's going to be here all day tomorrow. After that, it was time to move to this other giant hickory tree that is in an incredibly terrible position here in the L corner of this shed. This tree is way overgrown for this area and the homeowner wants it gone ASAP, seeing as how it would crush this one car garage and woodworking shop that's off to the left. We're going to get the trucks in as close of a proximity to the tree as we can so we can use leverage to our advantage here. And Derek is going to back up the bucket truck as close as he can here so he can get up as high as he can. And let's start dissecting this tree. Another tree that came down pretty damn quick. Chaw is going to move in here and give Derek an assist with this tree trunk. He's going to push it away from the shed as of course we don't want anything to head in its direction and ruin it. Willie is going to take the logs and get them in the back of our mason dump and get them ready to ship. Time to change positions again. Derek has to get this bucket truck in somewhat of a unique position here, but before that, Bruce shows up on the job and it's time to shoot the breeze a little bit. This one up first. I can't eat right now. That's a serious coffee. Uh... Well, are you having something? He already I, did. I, ate, oh, I got out of two of them. So I ate one and a half. Yeah, I ate one and a half. Yeah, No. I, up, I already ate three handfuls. Oh, oh. Right, Frank? He's talking about losing weight. He's eating two bro. sandwiches. How about that? <laughs> that ain't gonna help him. No, that ain't gonna help him. All that bacon and everything out there? No. no. The spot where we need to get the truck in is on quite a slope. Bruce is going to keep a good eye on him backing up, and we're going to use a stump that we shaved a couple pieces off of to level out the truck a little bit more. We handled the branches at the top of this tree pretty easily, and look at the dead part of this tree right here. The woman inside was so happy to see the tree coming down that she came out and put her arm around Derek and gave him a small hug. Now that the fog has lifted, take a nice look at Rogers Lake. It's beautiful. Let's head off to the other side of the shed and remove this tree over here. This one has some dead branches at the top of it, so again, it's another nice sigh of relief for the homeowners as well. And now, we are at the point of the day where it's starting to rain a little bit and darkness is staring us right in the face. We're going to get everything cleaned up and packed up, and we're going to head back here on Friday to finish up the job. And here we are, two days later. Here's a little FPV drone coming through the driveway. We are going to tackle this big tree that you can see here approaching the house, as well as another monster tree that's just off the side of the driveway. But first, we're gonna take down this little tree also on the side of the driveway because we've got the trucks right here, we're ready to go, so let's just take it down. And for this tree, it's just gonna take a few cuts for us to get this one down. While this is going on, Chaw is going to clean up some branches away from the power lines that are heading into the house. And now, let's get to the mother load. This tree dominates the skyline in the middle of the driveway, and most of the weight is leaning to the left towards the house, so that's where it would go if it fell down in an emergency. Derek is gonna be up in the bucket truck, and we're gonna have the same crew on the ground that we did a couple days ago. 
Unfortunately, the dingo is down for a little bit this morning as one of the bolts has broken on the tracks, so Willie is gonna head out to get the parts and get it fixed. The size of the leaders that Derek is taking off this tree right now could be small trees themselves. As we're halfway through this tree, we're getting to the meat and potatoes of this monster, and Willie just got back with the simple bolt that was all we needed to fix the dingo to get it back up and running. These guys could tell immediately this morning that something was off by it just the way that it sounded. There are some monster chunks coming off the bottom of this tree here. We're gonna take it down in a few different pieces so it doesn't overpower the crane, and then Chaw is gonna head in and make the last cut on this trunk, and we're gonna call it a wrap on this big monster. The guys have that one more tree left in the driveway that they're gonna take down today, which, like I said, is the same size, if not a little bigger than this one we just did right here. Check out the before and after shots of this. I talked a lot with the customers when we were on the property for the past couple days, and they were more than ecstatic to have this tree gone. 